This series of tutorials will show you how to assign contact drum kits to separate stereo outputs. The individual outputs will then be routed into Samplitude. This will then make it possible to process or record these individual drum parts. Part 1 will show how to create multiple output channels in contact to begin with. Part 2 will show how to route the Abbey Road modern drums to these multiple outputs. Part 3 will show how to route one of the contact factory kits to these multiple outputs. Part 4 will show how to record these multiple outputs as audio in Samplitude. If you already know how to add extra outputs in contact, you may want to skip this section. I will be using contact 4.2 for this example, but the method should apply to earlier versions as well. I have Samplitude open and it's a single track project with a MIDI file loaded. I'm left clicking on the plugin slot and from the VSTI menu I'm choosing Native Instruments, Contact 4, 16 out. This will give me 8 stereo outputs which will be fine for this demonstration. The multi-channel routing dialog box has now appeared. I'm checking multi-channel create new tracks for instrument outputs. Open extended options and make sure audio MIDI combined tracks also send MIDI and don't show the audio return tracks in the arranger options are both deselected. Click OK to confirm. Contact 4 is now open. Don't load your drum kit yet. Next, I need to make the correct routing output assignments from within contact. Currently there is only one output called ST1, although your default may contain more outputs. Regardless, I need to add some more outputs. Depending on how you work, you may want to create multiple stereo outputs, or multiple mono outputs, or a mixture of the two. I'm going to add 8 stereo outputs. Click on the Add Channels button. Where it says Quantity, I'm going to set it to 8. Click on the small arrows or left click and drag to change the quantity. As they are stereo channels, I'm leaving the channel number set to 2. Under Sound Card Host Output, left click on the drop down list and select the top entry which is ST11. The Ascending Output Assignment box needs to be ticked. Also tick the box where it says Delete Existing Channels Before Creating New Ones. Then click OK. You'll now see that 8 new stereo output channels have been added. These are labelled ST1 through ST8. They have been routed incrementally to stereo outputs 1 through 8. ST1 is routed to outputs 1 and 2, ST2 is routed to outputs 3 and 4. This parallel routing continues up to ST8 which is routed to outputs 15 and 16. We now need to save this routing configuration. In Contact 4.2 it's possible to use the Preset Batch Configuration drop down menu. Then you can choose to save the current output state. I'm going to save this output state under VST 16 out. Saving this means that from now on, whenever I choose contact 16 out from the plugin menu, the multi out routing I've just set up will be used. However, if I zoom in on this project, you will see that the eight stereo outputs are not yet correctly recognized in Samplitude. To correct this, I need to remove contact 4 and reopen it. The best way to do this is to click on the Manager button to open the Manager. Make sure the VSTI tab is selected. Select Contact 4 so it's highlighted and then press the Delete key. Or alternatively, click on the Function button and choose the menu item Delete or Reset Selected Instruments or Outputs. So this has removed Contact plus the extra tracks from the project. Left click where it says empty and choose contact 4 16 out again. You can of course add it from the plugin slot if you prefer, although the VSTI manager is more flexible in many ways. I'm keeping the same multi-channel assignment in the routing dialog window. You'll now see that contact has loaded the 16 out template I created. 
These outputs correspond with the eight stereo tracks in Samplitude. There is also a top track, which is the MIDI track. Now, in future, whenever I open a Contact VST16 out, the correct routing will be reflected in Samplitude as well.